What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are back in my coastal park. I've been doing a little bit more work. I shouldn't say a little bit. Doing a lot more work on that. So we're going to kind of look at that in a minute. I haven't touched on this left side yet. I haven't figured out what I want to put in here. We've got a couple rides left. We'll go to the right side. You'll see in a minute. I did a family area. I extended my sky ace a bit more. I worked on a lot more scenery and whatnot. So we'll show that. I think I'll probably end up with a third coaster over here somewhere. Um, with what type of theme, I don't know yet. Anyway, so, when we last left off, I was at the Sky Ace area, and it was, there was nothing behind it, it was all open, um, and as you can see, I've got almost 3,000 people, so I've more than doubled my park from last time, and at 1.5 million right now. Uh, a lot of park management, obviously, is not in yet, but I'm trying to think about things like lighting, scenery, making sure there's restrooms and food stuff everywhere. Uh, because of things that you're going to want to think about when you're building the park anyway, especially when it comes down to management. Uh, some concerns that I'm worried about down the road are things like maintenance. What's the maintenance cost going to be and stuff like that, so we'll see. But as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've built out the scenery around the Sky Ace area now. And obviously there's a whole bunch of stuff. So we've got a pathway that runs back this way. Okay. Now, let me try to get down into here. Anyway, so we got a pathway that runs all the way around to the back of the sky ace. We went ahead and filled this area up a bit. Let me zoom up here so you can see a lot of greenery, a lot of lighting, a lot of scenery. We added a hat store in here. I don't remember if that was there last time, but we got more pathways going out this way. Going around the Sky Ace is what we've got the family fun area, more or less. These are like family rides. So uh, we got a swirly thing over here, and another the whirly rig over here, and aeronauts over here. Uh, sometimes they get pretty popular. Uh, during the day, they get a little more popular than at night. Obviously, it's a kiddie area. Some rides are more popular than others. Uh, and then we ended up over here with that trail that follows around the sky ace went ahead and i put water in here or fake water uh we got spray jets coming up to add some animation effects there and then i went ahead and i built the genie uh building here it's two buildings with a center atrium area which i haven't put anything in yet kind of waiting to see what i want to put in there uh but we'll take a look at that so this is a slightly different still sticking with the same theme as you can see uh, on this side over here, while well, you'll see people going in and out, and they got to fix some pathing issues and people walking through walls. Pathing is still a, 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 an issue I'd like to see more addressed, obviously. Um, this can be a pain in the butt. Inside of here, I went ahead on the exit of the Genie. We've got our food, our drink, our hat shop, and restrooms. So they're kind of hidden in here, and you can see through into the atrium area that I have not designed yet. You can see the sky and the sun coming through that. Okay. Uh, and then on this side is your entrance area. Lots of lighting, lots of signs and stuff. Okay, and the same thing kind of applies here. You can see into the atrium area. Not a lot going on in here. We added some lighting and some stuff. and. Sometimes this ride gets full, but a lot of times it's like half empty and I found out it gets a little bit more fuller Obviously as I added more stuff in more places for people to go to whoops uh, But you can come out to the back And you can see there's your genie I went ahead and I just built up the park behind it all the mountains and everything uh, And that's it. That's how that looks but that that's a labor right there that took a while to do lighting and all We got a door to go into the atrium area uh, but as I fill up this park more, I also notice that my uh, FPS drops significantly, obviously. Um, and that's just, you know, a result of it still being the alpha and a lot of tweaks still needing to be done. But as you can see, like I said, I put a lot of work into this now. Uh, and I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not going to say that I'm like the master of disaster awesome builder guy, but I think I'm doing pretty good. Scenery in here with our limited amount of scenery. Um, not everything needs to be within a building. So we do a lot of the greenery here. Just because. A little exit there. You know, little things here and there. Little tweaks. 
obviously I still have a little bit left to do like this area right here uh, going around the magic twirl okay this this spot here I still have to fill up a little bit I don't want to put too much in there but I'll fill it up a little just enough I mean you know I got a little planet coaster sign over there all greenery going into it and around it uh, and then that leads us back to the next section of the park uh, here which is still a very much work in progress I've got a lot to do back here as you'll see it's just very much open right now uh, I added again the shops in here slightly different building enhanced it up from what the front buildings are so he's got the hat shop in there now too and you still got restrooms and drinking and food and those are things that you're gonna have to have throughout the parks uh, we've got the forge here which we've just added uh, I have not done much in terms of scenery around the entranceway. As you can see, there is a roller coaster in the background, uh, or at least rails for a roller coaster. And we'll take a look at that in a bit here. Okay, and then obviously I've got a big coaster sign, and I've got the Screaminator back here, which is that dude that flies that goes all the way up all the way up you can see the top of the park from here okay just got that set up and you can see so this whole area still has to have its greenery and scenery and stuff I'll probably put a building or two in here uh, just to make it look cool uh, but that's where we're at here nothing's really completed yet on it but I think it's, it's looking pretty good uh, and I've got here is the entrance to the coaster and here's the exit to the coaster it actually runs uh, I've designed it underground uh, with some parts of it coming up above ground and I've covered it up with forestry so you can see there it comes up over there comes up over here and the way I designed this is actually gives you some hang time you'll see when we ride it here in a minute this turn right here you'll watch as they get up here it slows down we run some drive rails right here to drive the train for a moment and then we get hang time as it coming around the corner so it really gives you a chance to hang in a flying coaster and then back in and underground it goes uh, and then there are a couple spots so you'll see a loop here a loop there there's a barrel coming out of a turn over here but the majority of it's all covered up and it's all underground uh, this is actually really easy to do well I shouldn't say it's really easy to do I mean you have the tools within the roller coaster to actually create the uh, auto auto tunnel if you will but what I actually did here and this is a kind of a little trick was I went ahead and I used the terrain editor which right in here not painting but sculpting and what I did was I dropped down all the way down or well, not all the way down but I dropped way way down and I opened up this whole area really deep into the ground built my coaster and then when I was done building the coaster, I went ahead and I re-pulled the ground up over and around the coaster. And it automatically tunneled everything that I left underground. Um, like I said, pathing is an issue still. So creating the pathways to get into this is kind of a pain in the butt. I have a lot of lighting to still do uh, on this train underneath here. A lot of it's still very dark, which is actually not too bad. Some of it's very dark and some of it's got a lot of lighting, but you can see uh, this is like a extremely, extremely popular coaster and people are waiting for it. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get down into here. Look at the line and you can see I've got spots where the coaster interacts right by the people. So they kind of see the people as they fly by fly by literally because it's a flying coaster um, but you can see it gets very loud and very noisy we've got a whole bunch of stuff down in here and lighting and it does get a little bit a little bit FPS issues down this way but I needed to get some lighting and like I said I've still got more lighting to do pathways are all in here so it's just a matter of following it back through the train uh, path and creating it uh, there it comes right now and that's where we're at on the second portion of this park right now uh, a little bit more enhanced I am I am just really loving this game now I've probably spent gosh on this whole area here that you're seeing in this video a good uh, eight to ten hours 
uh, easy trying to build it and put paths in and go back and forth and back and forth, maybe even more. So that's why you're not seeing me like live stream or, or even just make pure videos on it because I'm just I'm just trying out all different things and doing different things and whatnot. But in a minute, we'll go ahead and actually ride the coaster. I'm going to do a day ride more or less um, so that the lighting is not as effective. Uh, it doesn't bother you as much. Um, if you ride this at night, you better not have uh, epilepsy, to be honest with you, right now, the way the lighting is. Because, you know, it goes from dark to a lot of spotlights everywhere and then goes back to dark. So it's kind of interesting. But um, for the purpose of this video for now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on in the daytime. Just so you can kind of see the hang time and everything a little bit better. Uh, but if you have comments, questions, please do feel, leave, feel free to leave them if I could speak below stay tuned i will probably have an episode three at least on this as i build out the other side of the park um and i finish with the uh whatever you all the scenery up top we'll come back on this area of the park here as we finish the scenery but this is pretty cool how this all works anyway comments questions and uh i'll catch you guys next time enjoy the ride thanks for watching as always